Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam rasulillah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Mr. Brother Ibn Rumani for mytaskia.com. Again on the road, alhamdulillah. Please support this program, check out the description, and become a sponsor to help our program to reach as many people as possible to help them to stop porn addiction. Question today is, am I a hypocrite for sinning in private? For example, I'm a porn addict, I watch porn, and masturbate in private, then outside people think I'm a pious person. That is a very, very tough question, a good question. Sinning in private versus the way people see outside thinking you're pious. One of the scholars used to say that if people knew who we really are, if our sins could smell, then people would not want to be around us. Another scholar said that if people knew what's really inside, that people would beat me with shoes. The reality is that you're not a hypocrite unless you really, really are a hypocrite and you don't believe. If you believe it's a sin, it's a sin of weakness and you are falling into it. Not just, it's a mistake. You can't, you have a, whatever it is, it's your problem. It is a huge sin. It's a mistake. And yes, your inside and outside should be the same. That's the objective. That is the best way we should be. Can everyone be like that? No. That's why the Prophet said, every son of Adam sins. That's why Tawbah is there. Does that mean now that the person is going to be outside like he's inside? Or I have to have the same. If I'm bad inside, I should be out, bad outside. No. You should always keep as good as behavior outside. Now, is a fine line between hypocrisy and having a double standard. You might be having a double standard. You might be telling people, well, guys, this is haram outside and whatever, yet inside you're doing it. That's a huge double standard. But when you don't believe that your sin is a sin, yet you're telling people that it's a sin, now there's a problem with hypocrisy now. Because hypocrisy has an element of kufr. Tanaqad or contradiction is just a lack of consistency and maybe a problem within you, no doubt, a disease of the heart. And then there's the weakness that you might have for falling into the sin versus trying to be, you know, in, in front. I mean, obviously you're, you're tistahiyan, you're shy. That's what the Prophet said. If you're not ashamed, then do what you want. And yes, shame of the people is one of the levels of shame. The shame of Allah should be first. The shame of the people is one of the levels of shame. If it reaches to that point, as the Prophet said that toward that time, some people will be committing zina openly. They're not even ashamed of people anymore. Then it's really bad. But number one, you're not a hypocrite, but you're a sinner and you're a person of contradiction and you should try your best to stop that. People might see you as a pious person. Ask Allah to protect you, not to expose you. Because sometimes Allah might expose you. You need to counter those sins with good deeds, with repentance, with tawbah. And not just, okay, well, I'm committing the sin in private and in front of the people I'm preaching and I'm such a nice guy. And I don't even care about what's happening in private. I don't even care about my sin. I'll go do it right away again and not even feel bad about it. No make, no tawbah, no nothing. Then, man, you are in a huge dangerous problem of iman, no doubt which might even lead to, to hypocrisy. But if you're struggling, you're fighting, you're falling into the sin of pornography and masturbation, yet when you're outside, people see you as a good person. And this is a big sin, yes? And you have to rectify it, but it's not hypocrisy. Okay? So, but be careful that Allah will not expose you one day, that Allah will catch you and the people will see you and Allah will expose you. One of the greatest punishment on the Day of Judgment is that Allah will expose our sins in front of people. Do not allow this habit to take over. Fight it with tawbah, with sadaqah, with good deeds. Always, no matter what happens, you keep falling into it, you keep making tawbah, you never give up. Once you give up and you don't care about it anymore, that's a step closer to hypocrisy. It can lead you to think and it's not haram anymore or to justify it saying it's halal or whatever or change the sharia of Allah or not even believe it anymore which can definitely, definitely lead to hypocrisy. There's a lot of questions where alhamdulillah people at least feel 
like Omar Khattab used to have this fear, radiallahu an, about is he one of the hypocrites? And imagine Omar is feeling that. He used to have that. He used to ask Hudayfa ibn al-Yaman, who used to be the custodian of the list of hypocrites, is my name there? So you understand? I'll give you one story to finish it. One of the people at Omar Khattab, radiallahu time, time, an old man, was with a prostitute one time in his private home. And Omar Khattab was walking. You know, he used to walk around. And by, I think the fences were just very low. Omar Khattab kind of put his head over the fence and saw it. And he said, fear Allah. And the old man said to Omar, if you fear Allah, meaning why would you put your head on my fence and see my private thing, my private issue? Omar was scared. He never approached them. And even though he would see him on the streets, then he says, one day the man came and told him, whispered to him, said, I made tawbah and I stopped it. And Omar screamed, Allahu Akbar. Omar was so happy that this happened. The sins in private are big sins, no doubt about it. And it shows a lack of taqwa. And many people do them. But there's still, and there's a problem in aqidah because we know Allah sees sees us so we have weak in, weakness in iman 100 weakness in iman they're big sins we're not ashamed of allah subhanahu wa we think we're away from the people and people cannot see us but we know we should know that allah sees us but when those sins reach the level where you don't care what people even see you you expose yourself in front of the people then you reach the level of a horrible station last but not least the hadith of Prophet where he says that everyone or the people will be forgiven except those who expose their own sins. They've done it in private. They make tawbah. Allah, inshallah, will forgive them. But there's those people who commit the sins and they brag about their sins. Those people will not be forgiven. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to be the same in private as we are in public that's when real taqwa takes place when a person's affairs in private are the same as in public inshallah may Allah subhanahu wa bless you please check out the description and support my tazkiyah.com assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh